Hello, welcome everyone to your meditation and mindfulness course. We are here time out Tuesday. My name is Skyla Ramirez, holistic care specialist and stress management specialist. So in today's technique, we will be experimenting with holding the breath. That means to pause after the inhale. And we're also experiencing um, a pause after the exhale, which technically is not holding the breath, but rather it's staying in a space where the lungs are a little more empty. So we'll be experiencing with uh, experiencing both dynamics. And as we experiment, always remember to do whatever is best for you. If you start to feel dizzy, nauseous, uneasy, if even if you notice uncomfortable, uncomfortable emotions come up, just keep in mind that you can always return to your own natural breath and stay with those sensations. So to begin, let's first be sure that you're in a comfortable position. And if you've never ex if you've never experimented with this holding of the breath before, I'll recommend that maybe you lie down if you don't usually lie down for meditation. Otherwise, if you're seated in a chair, get comfortable. Um, and let's all just make sure that the chin is down just a little bit so that we're able to open and stretch the back of the neck. So we're eliminating compression in this part of the spine where so many of the nerves connect directly to your brain. So I want to be sure that that neck is comfortable as we delve into this, this practice of the mind and body experience. So as we get comfortable first, let's start to develop a, a, a big diaphragmatic or belly breath in the body. You're welcome to put both hands on your stomach. Sometimes this helps to be able to Feel the abdomen expanding and contracting with your breath, with your breath. So as you inhale, the stomach is going to push out and it's going to round out 360 degrees. As we inhale into the lowest parts of the lungs, the breath expands out to the sides of the hips and the waist. It'll press into the low back and you may really feel that breath in your low back if you're lying down. And then of course the breath can stay in this frontal plane where it moves the belly button out and in. So as we inhale, filling the lungs in the same way you would fill a balloon with air, there's this expansion of energy in your belly. And then exhale and it is effortless, completely effortless, just let go. In yoga, we call this a parigraha, let go. We have to let go so that we can make space to receive the next restorative breath. When you're ready, big inhale, breathe in through the nose as much as possible. Round out that belly, pause for just a second and then exhale. And you might even wanna exhale from your throat, exhale with a sigh, a little sigh of relief can help. Maybe even let the breath be audible so that when you exhale, you might have a sigh and you're able to actually give some feedback to the body to relax, giving the breath that voice of relaxation, peace and ease. Let's try a few more easy breaths, inhaling in through the nose as much as possible, filling the stomach, the back and the hips. Little pause just to dissect and define the breaths and then exhale. And pause again, notice what feels right for you. So as we begin to shape the breath even more, we're shaping the breath in the body. Now let's shape the rhythm of the breath and the ratio of the breath. For the next minute, we're gonna be counting the breath and they call this box breathing. When you do this, you might in your mind draw a box. So if you start just identifying some sort of point in your mind or point in space that you're gonna use like a pin to draw a line straight up as you inhale, we're inhaling one, two, three, four, pause, take that line across, one, two, three, four, exhale, bring that point down, one, two, three, four, pause, close up that square, one, two, three, Four, the box breath. And you might see an actual box that you draw in your mind, or you, maybe you could just have a sense of the breath rising, hovering, lowering, and hovering. So you may quite literally draw that box or just observe those spaces between the inhales and exhales. Let's try this for about a minute. And I am going to count it so that 
we're able to establish a rhythm together that's going to um, just encourage the nervous system to, um, to cycle through that breath in, in, in an energetic way. So if it feels too fast or too slow, you can most certainly change the count, but maybe just stick with me just for a minute. Let's all start exhaling all the way. Inhaling one, two, three, four. Pause, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Pause, two, three, four. Inhaling, two, three, four. Pause, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Pause, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Pause, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Pause, two, three, four. Now we'll keep that same rhythm and I'd like for you to inquire with your body at this moment, what is it feeling? And maybe imagine the voice coming from, from this statement, coming from the body, I feel, and notice if your body says it's feeling low on energy, is the body feeling high or even a little excited or anxious? Or maybe the body is centered, neither here nor there. If you're feeling centered, we will work with longer holds to work with resiliency today in the nervous system. So if you're feeling anxious or centered, let's hold after the breaths for at least six counts or more. And this time I will not be establishing the rhythm, but rather will allow your body to do it on its own. If you've had any depression or fatigue, Keep that four count pause. Shorter pauses promote energy, longer pauses calm the nervous system. Let's take a moment to find the breath again in the body. And we may want to place hands on the body if they've moved. Feel for the breath as you inhale, expand the abdomen. And then exhale, maybe even just press a little bit in with the navel. So every drop of breath is released from the body, releasing any tension that could be taking up space or causing us to not be able to be filled with the restorative breath. So just notice effortless on the inhale, breathe in through the nose, and maybe now a little effort on the exhale, pulling the belly button in deeply cleansing the body by way of a cleansing breath. When you're ready, exhale all the way and let's begin the process of either those short or long holds, taking a big breath in through your nose, fully filling the lungs. Maybe you pause at the top of the breath and try taking sips of the breath. Just when you think that you may need to let that breath go, is it possible that you can push your stomach out or expand the belly a little more and maybe just take in a small sip of breath, just a little bit more to unblock those energies that affect mind and body unity. At any point when you're ready, exhale, add in that bit of effort, pull the belly button in, pull the ribs in and just pause right there if you want. Pull the muscles up in your pelvis. Engage the buttocks muscles while you're holding here. Pausing for as long as it feels right for your body. Remember, we're not holding the breath. There's no breath held here. There's no breath. When you're ready, just relax the muscles and open the body to receive. 
receiving a big inhale, pausing at the top of that breath, short pause for energy, long pause to calm. When you're ready, let it all go. Just a little bit of effort as that breath expires, pull the belly button in, pull the side ribs in, tighten the muscles in your pelvis. Maybe even imagine you're trying to squeeze your knees together or squeeze the inner thighs together, adding in a little bit more contraction. When you're ready at any point, relax the knees, the pelvis, the thighs, and the low back, soften your jaw and shoulders. Inhale, receive your breath. Pause, energy rising up into the heart. Bring the breath through the throat. Sometimes we notice a block right here in the chest. If that block is there, take in a sip of breath. Pull it up to the middle of the brain and out the crown of your head. Whenever you're ready, exhale, release that breath. Pause, contract all the muscles in the pelvis and the low body the buttocks, the hips, the knees in towards each other, embracing that, that energy of a squeeze with the muscles of the inner body, cradling the energies that create the foundation for us to be courageous as we move through the day. When you're ready, release all those contractions. Let's try this at least one more time. And again, you're doing this in your own time. Take in a big breath. Pause, no matter where you are with that breath, take in a little more. Is it possible to hold it, to take sips of the breath? Pull it up through the throat, through the middle of the brain, out the crown of your head. Keep the chin down so that energy stays locked inside of that reservoir that is you. Reservoir of energy. When you're ready, let it all go. Let it go with ease and then pause. And from that moment of ease, pull the belly button in and contract the muscles again in your lower body. You're going to hold it there for as long as it feels right for your body. When you're ready, take a big breath in and then exhale, relax. So let's return to just some easy breathing now, easy breathing. Take a moment and consider in this place where the body has probably had some shifts, take a moment and think about, is there anything that you need to get you through the day? Is there anything that you want to get you through the day? Is there any feeling that you want as you round this day out, or as you get even to the end of the week, is there anything that desires resolution in your life, anything at all? Let's feel in our bodies that all that we could ever want or anything that we ever may want to pass, that that has happened. Let's fast forward, fast forward and feel as if all things are resolved for you in this moment, all things in life are resolved for the day, for the week, stretch it out. With this sense of resolution, there is a sense of gratitude. As you inhale, open yourself to bring in the feeling of gratitude into your whole body. This is one of the most powerful and transformative emotions for us to heal our nervous system and to maintain a healthy mind and body. Gratitude. Inhaling with this sense of gratitude. What color is the feeling of gratitude? If gratitude had a color, maybe the color comes to mind. There could be an energy that immediately assigns a color to gratitude just to inspire a little bit more imagination. What if you can wrap that emotion of gratitude in a gold light or feel gratitude as an amber gold energy? It's an energy that is warm, 
it's fluid. Like water, it gives us a sense of lightness and buoyancy. Tuning in to that feeling of gratitude and experiencing gratitude as a warm gold energy that we are open to receive. And as we exhale, extending compassion, exhaling compassion. What is it to feel compassion for ourselves, for those around us? It's an extension of gratitude, inhaling gratitude, exhaling compassion. And compassion may still be a gold light, or it can change also. It can change in color. It may even have a sound apart from the word that we've given it in our language, the sound of ah. As we inhale, breathe in gold light, and then exhale, hearing the sound, ah, leaving from the body, ah. Assigning sound to the inhale as well as we breathe in. Breathe in the sound, so. Inhaling, so. Exhaling, ah. Let's try that for about a quiet minute. Inhaling so, exhaling ah, filtering warm, fluid gold energy through your body. You may want to stay with the chant of so, ah, or we can let go of the chant. And for the next few easy breaths, let's place both hands over our chest, palms down over the chest, shoulders soften away from your ears. For the next few moments, let's feel as if the heart in the body functions as a single lung to expand and contract rhythmically with every breath. As we inhale, feeling like there's an energy expanding out to our armpits, pressing forward in front of us, and maybe even energy that pulls back from the shoulder blades. Exhaling, all of these energies contract. The middle back softens, the middle chest and the sides of the armpits pull in to the center of the chest in our bodies. Inhaling, expanding this energy, the energy of the heart, and then exhaling, feeling this subtle contraction of energy as well. For the next inhale, breathe in green light, bright green. In color therapy, this is the color of unconditional love, that which we deserve for the self and others deserve as extensions of us. Inhaling this bright green light into the chest and then exhale seeing that Gold light. Continuing to breathe easy. The heart has its own chant. So hum. So we might just imagine 
the sound of so hum cycling through the mind as we breathe. You may even chant it, inhale, so, exhale, hum, or just sit with the colors, inhaling, absorbing green light, exhale, radiating warm gold light. Let's try this for one minute. We may want to stay here a little longer today. We may want to feel as we inhale the gold light that moves from others, absorb it into us. You may feel comfortable even just sitting with green light. Staying here for maybe just a little longer. Absorbing gold light or absorbing green light. Simply feel what is it to be the embodiment of light. Letting go of our sensation to feel, to smell, to hear, to taste, or to touch. Just the essence of being light. What might that experience be like for us today? The essence of light. Letting go of our attachment to the physical form. More in tune with a part of us that is intuitive, a divine organic wisdom that can guide us through the day. Let's begin to deepen our breath, bringing that awareness again into the lungs, into the belly. Maybe that awareness moves up into your chest. And then exhale, relax, noticing does the body want to pause after the exhale again? At any time in the day, we can just stop and pause, just press pause. Even for four to six counts, just press pause. Recenter, reset. I thank you so much for joining me today in our Time Out Tuesday session. I'll see you all on our Thoughtful Thursday meditation session. From here, we can bow in closing. Peace with us all. Namaste, everyone. Enjoy your beautiful day.